This next guest is a good friend of mine, and I am her associate producer on this documentary feature film. The subject is very close to my heart, and I want to educate the public every chance I get. Please join me in welcoming Katya Louise, the award-winning filmmaker for Saving America's Horses. Hey Katya, thank you for being here today. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Can you tell us how long you've been involved in filmmaking? Well, I grew up in the entertainment industry. My whole family's been involved in different ways. And I've been working in filmmaking for about 15 years. Katya, how did you get involved in animal advocacy? I've always been an animal lover, Deb, and just always had a very deep respect for the environment and nature. It felt very, very connected. I became a spokesperson for animal advocacy um, after getting into dog rescue and horse rescue and got into advocate journalism in 2006, investigating, doing investigative reporting and that type of thing. And then I founded Wild for Life Foundation in 2008. Can you tell us, Katya, where you learned about the brutal practice of horse slaughter? I discovered that while studying America's wild horses. And I was shocked to find out that America's wild horses have been going to slaughter for years and at the hand of our government. And then I found out that the same thing was happening to our domestic horses as well. Um, the thing is that, that people in this country are animal-loving people. We respect the humane treatment of animals. And 70% of our people, when polled, will say that they are totally opposed to horse slaughter. They have no idea how inhumane it is, and people just don't realize how corrupt this industry is. It's just really amazing, Deb. Katya, do you own a horse? Yes, I do. But I like to say that I'm a guardian rather than that owning. I think that as people, when we care for animals in our charge, that we really are their guardians. Um, I grew up with horses in my life, and I care for eight horses now. And through Wild for Life Foundation, we provide for lifetime care for both thoroughbreds and wild horses. Do you think horses are intelligent and sense fear? Absolutely. Horses are extremely intelligent. They're sentient social beings and they can most certainly sense fear. I think that horses are more sensitive than we are, and for sure they have a beautiful natural gift to heal people as well. You know, being an animal advocate and a filmmaker, it just makes perfect sense you would do a film about animals. Can you tell us a little bit about Saving America's Horses and what inspired you to make this film? Saving America's Horses is an expose looking at horses and the need to protect them. It's an intelligent, inspiring, touching, sensitive film that explores the human-animal bond and it does it through a humanitarian lens. Viewers will venture across sweeping landscapes to discover these majestic, beautiful, magnificent animals and we come to know racehorses by following the life of a champion racehorse and we also get to know what's going on in the controversial world of the American wild horses as well um, and, and learn exactly why these horses belong out on the open range. The horses is what inspires me and film is the most powerful medium that we have available that we can bring this information to the masses with. And um, what we've done is put together irrefutable documentation and evidence um, with captivating visuals. It's very compelling and I hope that it um, inspires people to realize that they can make a difference. Katya, can you tell our viewing audience what they can do to help end this brutal practice? People should go to the website, savingamericashorses.org, watch the trailer, learn about the issue, also follow the link to resources. There you will find talking points and facts and information. And you can also go to the legislation page and learn about the current pending legislation that will protect our horses and how what you can do to help get that legislation passed. Katya, thank you so much for being with us today. And good luck on your film. Thank you so much.